Hey what's up and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll share with you our experience of joining a dog fun match. The fun match that we have joined was organized by Mira Philippines. It's one of the top pet food brands in Germany. What also makes this event unique is that it's the first digital, meaning physical digital, dog show in the Philippines. Miss Emily Marshall, an international dog show judge from Melbourne, Australia, was the judge of the All Breed Fun Match. In this video, we will also be sharing with you our own preparations for the fun match and what items that you basically need to have to bring with you during the event. And as the video progresses, we will also share with you some technical terms that are being used during the event. Me and my wife have registered our two young female huskies, Azalea and Storm, into the fun match with less than two weeks to prepare before the event. Since it is only a fun match, winning the competition is really not our priority. Our only objective here is to expose our young huskies to the experience of dog showing, see how they fare and react on specific activities. This is going to be very interesting because we will see how our showline husky named Azalea will perform from training up until the event against our Agori line husky named Storm. We have equally trained them separately to see who learns faster and which of the two is harder or easier to handle. Now, I've already mentioned from my other video that an Agori Husky is good at herding and sledding, but a stranger to dog shows. Knowing this particular fact is one thing, but to actually see an Agori Siberian Husky participating on a dog show is another and we are very excited on how Storm performs on the ring against Azalea and other showline huskies. These are some of the essential items that you need to bring with you to a dog show. First is a dog collar and leads. It's usually thin and lightweight, specifically intended for dog shows. This is mostly used by handlers to send signals to their dogs effectively with only a light touch or tug. We brought two of them now, one for Storm and the other for Azalea. The second item are the dog's vet cards. The organizers at the registration will look for it to see if the participating dog is up to date with the vaccinations. If the event was an official dog show, they'll require you to bring both the dog's vet card and the paper that proves them as pure breed. In our case, it refers to the PCCI papers. The third item is an easy to carry water bowl. Dog shows and fun matches tend to last for more than a couple of hours. It's best that we keep our dogs hydrated. Last but not the least are the treats. These are useful for training and in handling the dog inside the ring. It's important that you have this in order to keep your dog focused on you and on the task that you are about to execute. There are other handlers that use squeaking toys instead of treats to keep their dogs focused.
by the way, you also need to bring a dog crate.
Jimmy Bell here. <laughs> Before we end this video, we'd like to thank our good friend, Ninyu Uli, for giving us some tips on how to properly use the dog collar and leads, and also to congratulate him and his Siberian Husky named Komte for winning the male Siberian Husky group. Shout out also to Jeffrey Aguilar of the Cebu Siberian Husky group for encouraging us to be active in joining dog shows as a husky owner and handler. Thank you very much for watching this video and we hope that you have learned a thing or two about fun matches. And if you like our videos, you can show your love by hitting the like and subscribe button. And we'll keep you updated on our next vlog. Once again, thank you and God bless.